Did you know that the name Socrates Papastopoulos has no letters from the third alphabet row of your keyboard? You're trying it now, aren't you? Fact that. So. Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Clates. This is Clates FM. This is Reviving Schalke. And now I'm saying that with a lot more chest today because I feel a lot more confident calling it Reviving Schalke, having got a few wins in the last episode. If you've not seen it, we actually won a couple of games, which was nice considering I think we lost three in a row before that. So Reviving Schalke, it's actually happening this time. If we can win a few games today, we can push ourselves towards the top of the league and hopefully promotion. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Before we do get into the action of today's episode, which will include a live Com, which the last episode didn't. Few of you kind of said that they didn't mind the format of things last time around, but a live com here and there would be good. So we're going to do one of those today. Before we get into that, let me please just remind you to subscribe to the channel. If you've enjoyed these videos and you're not yet subscribed, I mean, just click the button, you know, then you get then you get to know when the next episode comes out and you don't miss out. So yeah, do that, please. Also like the video and leave me some comments too. I do love the comments, especially this one, which um, just made a dream come true there. Look, so, so you can call me a dream maker now i guess and then finally this comment here from daniel um next season morning schalke will be the title of the series so um it's painfully true also we do live stream over on twitch it's twitch.tv forward slash clate and we are doing a hereford save over there the links and everything for that are down in the description without further ado should we get into today's episode let's go all right and so this is the current situation in the save then and we are currently hang on a minute before we go through it, i'm sorry to report that matthew hopper's voice is displeasure over the quality of training sessions i mean matthew i'm sorry to voice my displeasure over the quality of your footballing ability um, but you know, you don't hear me saying that too often, do you? Number one, Matthew Hop. Anyway, before I was distracted by that, this is where we're currently at then in the save. We're second in the league after a run of pretty good results at the end of last episode. We are though six points off the top of the league team, which is Nuremberg. We don't play them today. We will be playing against Bochum in the first game. Kaiser Slauten in the second. And then thirdly, our live com for today's match will be against Union Berlin. They're actually 17th in the league. I'm pretty sure they got relegated with us, didn't they? They've not made a good start at all. In fact, they've only won three games out of their first 15. They're more in the mud than we are. That's nice, isn't it? That makes me feel a lot better about things. I wonder where they were predicted to finish, actually. They were predicted to finish third in the league and they're way down in 17th. That makes me feel a lot better about things. This is excellent. I feel I feel really confident right now. So I guess what we need to do is get up to match day and uh, do our team selection. All right, so here we go then. Bochum are currently ninth in the league. They're on 21 points. That's only five points behind us. It's still pretty close in terms of points in the league at the moment. We're 15 games in. Here is the team selection then for today's game. At the back, it's going to be an unchanged back four and goalkeeper, of course. Of course, we still only have one goalie. So it's going to be Von Bulmus in goal. In fact, the transfer window is coming up pretty soon. In about a month's time, it's obviously soon. Look, it's the 3rd of December. We probably need to make some signings. We've got loads of money to spend. I think it's £39 million. Look forward to an episode where we go through and make some transfers. In fact, if you've got any suggestions, if you know who's good to sign in 2022, January, get them in the comments down below because I'm, I'm listening. I'm all ears. Remember, they need to be able to sign for Schalke in the Bundesliga too, though. So don't say Ronaldo. That's something Dirk Fuchs, our chief scout, would actually probably suggest to me. The midfield would look like this. It's Palumbo on the left, Kadira on the right, and then Gagliardini in the middle. Budaboos is our one player that can kind of play wide out of the whole squad. Maybe that's something to sign in January, actually. He will play on this left-hand side. Balotelli up front with Kosnaski just off his shoulder. That's the team. I'll see you at the end of the game. Come on. <sighs> Pain. Pain. It's all a feel. It's, it's pain. We've lost the game. Uh, we, we've not only lost the game, though. We've lost the game in the 90th minute to a penalty there. Yeah, I'm upset. I'm a little bit upset. We've lost to Bochum in this first game. I was so full of life, so full of hope, so full of joy before we played this first match of today's episode. And I've been brought back down to the earth with a crash as we've lost our first match. We were 1-0 down in the 36th minute. It was Sarah with a lovely little finish here. Big ball forward from Becker. sarah has got the pace to get away. Lovely little curling finish into the corner. 1-0 to Bochum. Don't panic, I thought, as that goal went in. Because you know what? We were playing okay. In fact, if you look at the stats of the game, we were probably the better team. More shots, more shots on target, better possession, etc. And that kind of showed in the 52nd minute as Van Arnholt marauded down the left-hand side, crossed 
David Kosnaski with a lovely little header. 1-1. One, one. And from this point, I thought, go on then. Go and win the game. And, um, well, they didn't go and win the game. We conceded a penalty late on. It was Salif Sane that conceded it. And Sacco smashed it in. We've lost away at Bochum. That does not do anything for us in terms of the league. In fact, it keeps us at six points behind Nuremberg. But they've now got a game in hand. Meaning they're going to pull further away. And our hopes of winning this title become a little bit slimmer. It's... It's tough, isn't it, this game? Uh, I'm making it look tough anyway. I'll see you at the next match. Just a little bit of news in between the games there. Kosnaski's picked up a pulled hamstring. He's out for two weeks. And as if to add insult to injury, almost literally here, Sammy Kadira is now one appearance away from making 15 league appearances, which means he'll have an extra year in his contract. I don't really want to give a 34-year-old an extra year's contract when he's averaging a 6.66 so far. Um, great news. I'll see you at that next game. Okay, then, as we approach this match here, then, we are playing Kaiserslautern at home. Before we do go up to our team selection, just a bit of news that was in our emails just here. We've got Benjamin Stombuli, a former player of ours, questioning struggling Schalke. Um, yeah, he says that we might be looking at being sacked if we were to lose this next game. It's never good when people are talking about that in the news, is it? I mean, this may be a very premature end to reviving Schalke if we do get sacked. I'm actually now a little bit nervous about it. Um, we really kind of need to win here. And then probably we need to back up this with a win in our next match too. A uh, bit scary. Team selection then looks like this. I've made one change in the midfield. I've decided that I want to get Matteo Guendouzi into the team. So I've taken Sammy Kadira out. It also does help that we don't have to give Sammy Kadira a new contract just yet. I'm just delaying the inevitable though, aren't I? He's definitely going to play one more game. I've put Gagliadini as the Metzala, Guendouzi into the middle. I like this midfield three. Hopefully it works. The rest of the team is exactly the same then. I'm going to play this game and see you at the full-time whistle. We've won 3-1. One, and Mario Balotelli has scored a hat trick. No, I'm not lying. Balotelli has turned up today and we've won a match. It's beautiful to see all three of his goals in the first half. 14th minute, 27th minute, 43rd minute. Half time, we were 3-0 up. Towards the end of the game, we were still 3-0 up. We've conceded right at the end, but it does not matter. We've got ourselves a vital, vital win there. Let's have a look at the goals that Balotelli did score here. And the first one was this one in the 14th minute. A throw in flicked on by Kosnaski. He stood in the six yard box. Mario Balotelli doesn't miss those, or at least he didn't miss that one. Second goal, he stood in the exact same place, this time again from a throw-in, Budabu's crosses, and he heads in from the same position. It's Mario Balotelli, so the fact he still stood there I actually think he might still be stood there. He's probably not done any running in between. The final goal, though, he's moved a little bit here to the left. Gagliardini, little back heel there, love that. Palumbo, Budabu's I mean, he's very close to where he's just scored from. But it's a nice bit of movement. 3-1. As we approached full time, we did concede this sloppy little goal towards the end. Shaz with a lovely turn around. It's uh, Van Arnholt, not great defensively. And it bounces around in the box. Not great goalkeeping from Von Bulmoose. But it doesn't matter. A 3-1 win then. Going into this game against Union Berlin. I'm going to get myself up to the fixture. And that will be today's live com match. <laughs> 41 days. Oh, uh, right. We might have an issue. It's the winter break. Uh, I, I may have lied to you about this being our live com today. I, I can only apologize. We're not going to be playing Union Berlin in today's episode, are we? Because it's in 41 days at the end of January, meaning... It's going to be a while until I get there. We need to make a plan, don't we? Instead, shall we do a little bit of transfer focus at the end of today's episode? Because we'll start next episode with this match here. And I'll tell you who I've signed before then. That's the new plan. Let's instead have a look at the side. Let's have a look at the squad and think about what we might want to do during January then. First of all then, we're going to need a goalkeeper, I think. That's going to be number one plan. I think probably just a backup. Von Bulmoose has not been too bad. His average rating is solid. He's conceded just about, just over one a game. Maybe we could improve on him, but I mean, I'm pretty happy if we get ourselves a backup there. Defensively, I don't think we've been good enough. Heinz and Sane have been our starting two central defenders. I'm thinking we might need to get a proper, proper worldy centre-back. If possible, I'm talking about getting worldy centre-backs in the Bundesliga too. Maybe not so much, but I think maybe if a centre-back is available, one of those. And definitely 
definitely a right back. Orijuela has been consistently bad, as somebody in a comment did say. Uh, I think we need to improve on him. Sebastian Rudy's not really a right back, although he's been doing an okay... I say I say an okay job. He's been pretty poor, actually, looking at his average ratings. Midfield-wise, we've got loads of players in midfield. I think we need wingers. Uh, also, I think we need a striker as well. So I think, in terms of January, which I'm going to go and do before the next episode, we're going to look at a backup goalkeeper a central defender, a right back, wingers, and a striker. Five positions. Should I be making that many signings? Possibly not, but we do kind of need to make sure we get ourselves promoted. Our form is patchy at best. The two games that we played in today's episode, a loss against Bochum, then a win against Kaiserslautern. It's up and down, isn't it? Apologies for not being able to do the live com game today. Uh, I, I need to look at dates. That is something. Can you remind me in the comments? Look at the dates of matches when I talk about these and tell me. You, you guys didn't spot it either, so it's not just me, but I think that's where we'll leave it for today thank you so much for watching as always if you've enjoyed the episode give it a like leave me a comment down below you can call me an idiot if you want um you know at least we get comments that way and also subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it at all i'll see you next time bye bye what an idiot look at the date man.